Second Thoughts Podcast, episode 14. Um, there's a lot of things going on in the world. And there's a lot of things to talk about. And there's a lot of, well, there's not a lot of hand sanitizer left in this bottle. But I got some, so. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the election results. Because, you know, at this point, <laughs> it's just like it's just like a, a shit storm. What, but what's that? Listen, the election doesn't matter anymore because Trump's not in office. Well, Trump's not well, going to be in he's office. He's still in office. He's still our president. And but. he's not he's not vocal. So what happens is there's nothing to talk about. Yeah. People just ignore it. It's kind of like we're almost back to like the status quo of like five years ago. Isn't it bullshit? Like we didn't learn anything. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Because a lot of things have happened, but but no one cares. The only thing that we we're getting out of this now is Trump 2024. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Well, no. So. Um, well, there was this at the time of this podcast. It's not been confirmed, but well, he's not going to say anything until all the court cases end. So it'll be a few months at least. Yeah, but I know a few of them got dropped, right? A bunch yeah. of them, a lot dude, of them got dropped. Like twenty-five yeah. of them so far. Yeah. They uh, so there's a recount going on in Georgia. Yeah, and they apparently found twenty-seven hundred uh, votes, um, in this tr- heavy Trump county that swing like eight hundred votes towards Trump. Now, this really isn't a good look. Because you could say what you want. It just always seems like anytime these glitches happen or like in this case, they forget to up, upload the data from the SD card on election night. <laughs> like what? they're all negative towards Trump every That's single time. And there's not one instance that. where it helped Trump ever. Like this isn't going to help like conservatives or, or um, diehard Trumpers like thinking that this election is rigged as hell. It's probably just going to, you know, it's going to throw gasoline on the fire. Not a good look. It's just, dude, the, the problem was the way the media framed it. And we were saying this too. Like, obviously, they're, we're not saying there's no, well, us, us. There's no way there's no, like, this was perfect. Everything was kind of perfect. There's always going to be errors, whether it be yeah. human error, whether it be glitches, whatever. So to try to play it off as, like, there's nothing wrong, like, this is the most secure thing, this and that, you got to accept, like, listen, like, you're going to find fuck-ups. But those fuck ups, and I, we, I said this too on the when we were talking about you know post election, like those fuck ups will not be big enough to change shit. Yeah, like you yeah, said, yeah, you yeah. said it was only like two thousand something. Twenty seven hundred votes. So Twenty seven hundred. He's only a hell of a lot more votes to like He's down by eleven shit. in that state. Yeah. What is what is eleven votes? And 11, besides, votes. <laughs> even without even without Georgia, <laughs> Biden still has I think enough electoral votes. Oh yeah, but right. regardless. But the yeah. problem, for the problem is this: like yeah. you keep framing this as, oh, like everything's secure, this is perfect, there's no glitches, no whatever. But then people start seeing that shit, it's and like, then it's like, what do you believe? On, we got and you have this and you shit. have this one guy, and and you have Trump like literally telling everybody, "I won the election." Every single day, there's a tweet where he says, "I won the election," and he's like, "It's all fake, it's all fraud." Watch, watch, watch. And now, if we start seeing more stories like this, like I even think this this is enough to get people going, like for a little while anyway. There's nothing really much to talk about besides yeah. rising coronavirus cases. Yeah. Um, what do you mean? There's a lot to talk about. You just said there's so many well, things going like, on. I'm saying, like, in the mainstream media news. Like, yeah, we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> so, like, if, if, we were to, if we were to flip on, on the news right now, like, what would their primary story be? Something about the well, election. Like, I, would, I don't I would think say so. Corona. I don't know. It, it, I was, they, yeah, they'll throw some jabs of, of, like, how Trump's refusing to, to concede it, but... Yeah. I saw a couple of corona things. Um, so I know it's, it's getting up there, but... Some stuff has happened though. Um, Moderna's um, vaccine. Oh, the yeah. second one. So yeah. that Again, was ninety five percent effective. Yeah. So I mean, do you, do you think it actually is, or you think they're just trying to one up? They're trying uh, to one up each other. Uh, Pfizer. What do you think? It's well, like Monopoly. They're, fucking, they're, vaccine dicks. Their vaccine's yeah. different though, because their vaccine is easier to um, transport. Yeah, because, you don't have, you don't have yeah. to freeze, right? You have to freeze it, but you can use regular freezers. The, now uh, the Pfizer, you have to use cold ice. And now I heard I heard something about like it being two doses. They- the Pfizer one's two doses. Two scoops. I don't know about the Moderna one. <laughs> two scoops. So it makes you wonder how it's going to work. Like, you're going to walk into a CVS and shit, and then, like, there's going to be, like, a catalog there, and then, or, like, a book or something. Like, you're you're in a barber shop, and, it, you know, like, oh, here are all the choices of, uh, you know, <laughs> vaccines that you got. Um, and here's the ones here, you can here afford. The, here, are the pros and, here are the pros and cons of each, and, you know. Um, I doubt they'll, they'll <laughs> well, be that transparent about You would that. imagine yeah. it'd be the same way how, like, the testing is. Because there are different tests, too, right? It's not like there's one coronavirus test. There's a couple. There's, there's a couple. And I guess you sign up for an appointment. You pick which one you want. Yeah, yeah or which yeah. one your insurance. Uber like, vaccine. Someone said that. Yeah, or your insurance. Your, your insurance will cover. But, well, both candidates were saying that the vaccine was going to be free for everybody. They lied. <laughs> I mean, someone's paying because say it louder for the they, people. They in the have back. to send these fucking Liars. shots. They both have to send them in in refrigerator vans, and Pfizer's yeah. got to send them in with um 
with dry ice. So and someone's gotta get someone's paid. gotta pay for that shit. Oh yeah, big time. And it's us. Well, here's the thing. Most likely, is this are either these vaccines like you get it once and you're good forever, or like you have to keep getting it every so and so every week? Every yeah, week. I, I think they said you have to get it for like eight months or something. You probably gotta get it every year. So, so is it months, like first one's free, next one you gotta pay for yeah, it? Yeah, it might be like that. It might. It might. This yeah, but if this virus gets eradicated, the thing is, the if these vaccines are ninety five percent effective, like. The flu vaccine is only 60% effective. Yeah. Think about that. Like, so it, this could be eradicated. I mean, they should be working on the flu vaccine too and eradicate that shit. <laughs> the thing, the, the I guess they the see flu, this as more priority. I don't it, know. Yeah, yeah. But oh, the flu, the flu mutates. Yeah, it different mutates every year. Yeah. Fast as fuck. Like the X Men. That's the problem. Um, and I guess there's no evidence that COVID um, 19 mutates as quickly. COVID 20. Uh, it uh, has well, mutated. I mean, I don't know. It did mutate different ways. I think one of the strains. Would, would uh it's the one we have now from like the summer it's like less deadly but way more like um contagious i see because in the beginning we had the i think we had the italian strain and that <laughs> shit was deadly the, the european strain <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah but then again not compatible it's we're in a different time now like we know how to treat it they're saying don't use ventilators anymore because that's hurting people so like they're, they're they're not putting anybody on ventilators really they're just giving them uh steroids see that's the trick now like we know the second wave is coming or at yeah. least it's here like we have the you know the upper hand knowing how this virus behaves. But we act dumb. Like look at look at the the daily <laughs> charts of this country, right? And see we're at like uh, one sixty nine thousand, one hundred seventy thousand. Yet the death rate's like seven hundred. Super low. Yeah, it's low. Compared yeah. to before when we had like thirty forty, death rate was what like. But I, I think it's low. But it, do you think it could still be early? I think it would have. I think it would. We would start seeing an uptick if it was. But I think you'll like that would only really go up once like. You know, God forbid the fucking hospitals are packed in it. Because I think that was a big reason why the death yeah. rate was so yeah. high. That's true, too. Yeah. And then there's kind of the the sketchiness where, like, they mark things as COVID deaths, even though they were, like, no. other conditions. Yeah, they're getting yeah. exposed. Yeah, maybe they, yeah they but, I mean, if they were that doing that bit. then, what's stopping them from doing it now? You know? Because. That's a real problem, like, because it is going up fast as hell right now. So, regardless, like, at this, you know, I, I'm pretty sure at this rate, Hospitals are going to start getting packed. They're probably some that are already packed. Yeah. So that's kind of the fear. I mean, I, I said it to another podcast. Like, this virus isn't a virus that kills you. Like, you get it. You know, the chance of you dying is oh. low. The problem is it just spreads so fast that, you know, it can't be contained. And then when the deaths come because of, you know, it's just out of hand, that's the scary part. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because there's no... Well, now... That, and, and Well, it's better now, though is that we don't have to use the ventilators. So that takes yeah. up a lot of space. And, like, we have m- shit that helps treat it, too. Yeah, like, yeah. maybe not cure, but, like, help, you we're know, in a better, We're in a way better position now. Like, yeah. And then, like, another thing, too, is other countries have a vaccine. Yeah. Well, Russia. Like Russia and China have a vaccine. And I mean, yeah, their numbers are, aren't, like, they're not, like, the lowest numbers ever. I mean, China. China's you, low You can't fuck. trust China, though. They were, but you know what the thing with China is? China, like, they put fucking like authoritarian measures like like take that shit like yeah like the government like like cracks down hard and like forces people to like social distance yeah. to wear masks to you can't really do that here because you know don't you think we should well the, the problem is do you you know how I much do you trust the government to really run that shit it, how much it, do you trust the people it has to, to, i think it has to stay in the states i think it's got to stay in the states what the hell can we trust can't because trust anyone the states have their own economy so like if one like if you let's say you just fucking federally like shut everything down somehow. The states that really can't shut down or that have less numbers, like and they're just they don't want to shut they're shut down. So like now their economy is going to trash, and now they might be digging themselves in a hole that they can't get out of for like maybe decades. You know, so I definitely think that it should be states, but I also think that it shouldn't be politics in the states. Like just because Texas is red should mean that they're not ever going to shut down. You know what I mean? Or California being blue doesn't mean they have to shut everything down and ban like indoor. In, I heard a thing in California where, like, if you have more than one or two relatives, uh, friends of the family in the house, you can get fined. If someone rats you out, like, like in your own house. They're going to snitch. That's cracked out. That's crazy. That's pretty cracked out. It, it's hard. I mean, I do think we haven't really found a balance where we get, you know, the government gets too overhand with their restrictions. And at the same time, like, people, you know, trust the government to, you know, you know, behave on their own and, you know, social distance and you might yeah, do yeah, whatever yeah. you got to do to not spread the virus. And the thing is, like, yeah, the reason why China has such low numbers is because 
you know, you can't question the government over there. Like over there, they crack down hard and that's it. Right here, we have the luxury of being able to do that. And it's a good thing too. Like that's a good thing that we're able to that's our freedom. question the government. Like the, we have the freedom to, you know? we have the, the rights to question the and, government. And it's, 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 it's unfortunate because I think the government also dug themselves in a hole by, you know, one, making this very political and two, just, you know, the misinformation that came out from the get-go. Yeah. You know, that, that itself leads people to think, all right, how bad is this virus and what is real and what isn't real what do you guys you know what information can i trust and what i can't so it's it's it, it definitely a, a whole lot of shit that goes into that you know that melting pot of of how to deal with covid yeah it's a mess a whole mess but i think like i said the benefit is that we have the experience from the first wave so we'll yeah. see how the second one goes season two <laughs> season two hopefully, <laughs> hopefully a lot better you know but yeah, I'm tired. Listen, I read I'm tired of this shit. I re- literally read the other day that Pfizer's going to try to um in the third month of November, the third, third week of month, month the third shit. week of November. This whoa. Kid, this kid which is it. what we're in right now. Yeah, I, already took the, took I took the <laughs> shit. I took the first version. <laughs> um third week of November, they're going to file for the FDA um approval. And the second it goes through, they're going to start sending it to like first responders. So we can be we can have this shit for first responders like hopefully like People in hospitals, people that are like cashiers everywhere can get this. Maybe by like the end of December. If this is so important, why are you fucking playing politics with this why bullshit? Why make us wait? Man, they've been playing politics this whole fucking time. I know, I know. They have been playing politics. Nancy Pelosi, <laughs> get the fuck out. But that's, that, that, and that's two points like, like you, Schumer, gotta, you gotta uh, look at. Schumer, get the fuck out. Fucking Mitch McConnell, get the fuck yeah, out of here. The fucking Mitch dinosaurs McConnell. gotta be God out. damn. This guy, I was watching some, uh, I think it was even a Fox News article that appeared on my phone. And it was like it was just. Oh, I, like, I wonder why. It was it was just McConnell's <laughs> face and like why pulling out of uh, the Middle East is a big big mistake. I think I, I think I because they're pulling like the that. troops out. They're, so, they're taking so them back. Trump want, yeah, I think Trump wanted to pull out, start pulling out troops, and and is obviously that what people want. That's what everybody that's what wants, wants man. but dude, it like it, that's the the one by, like of the very few bipartisan things you'll find in Washington that they don't want to leave the war. Both yeah. Democrats and why? Republicans. Yeah. It's money, dude. Oil. Prison. These Prison people industrial are comp- complex. Well, oil. in this case, it's the military industrial complex. Every, military, yeah, my bad, not prison. Everything has an industrial complex. Well, there's there's money to be made there, man. It's bullshit. We go there to either invade the country and then run it under us so we can cut ourselves deals. Like that's what this country does. They go to like little countries, they they take it over, they prop up some fake ass like president. Damn. And then the president owes us a big ass debt because it's basically us putting someone there, and then they cut deals so we get cheap imports. That's literally what this country does. So if Damn. they pull the troops, then where's all that, the, you know, billions of dollars that go into funding, you know, us being there? Like, where's that going to go? Gets recycled back into the mess. It might go, it's going to go to something stupid that we're not going to, it's not going to help us in any yeah, way. Yeah, no. I mean, it could probably still stay there. For all we know, they stay there just building more. Oh, more I actually sh- learned about this shit more, in school. Uh, <laughs> How the U.S. goes to, like, smaller countries for their agriculture, whatever they can offer. And then we plant yeah. our big corporate companies there. So McDonald's. Dude, yeah. why, do you, why do you think Elmer always said <laughs> I like Coca-Cola owns shit. Mexico? Is <laughs> we're literally conquering the world through business. But that's how it is. That that's, that's how it is. Up. Yeah. Dude. And... Greatest country on earth though. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you, you, America. Get your, you get your freedom and you get your oligarchy. It's like so I guess <laughs> it's a two now, for one deal. <laughs> man, so Trump Trump's smart for that shit. Trump doesn't want to fuck up these smaller countries and make us waste money. Well, Trump and probably funds, thinks like like right? some of those like what, like why are we throwing people to die out here when you could probably make a deal in a different way yeah. and not have people die? Maybe that might be his, or maybe like because the thing is Trump's not a politician, but he's surrounded by yeah, fucking. Business, man. Well, he yeah. knows what he's doing though. I think he's doing this now though, as a politician, so that he could get twenty twenty four back. Uh, maybe yeah, yeah that, that he's could gonna be, be like because that Joe Biden's gonna bring them back. For whatever business oh, they want to do, oh, that yeah, would, him if he for did sure. something like that, I feel like that disastrous. would be a political suicide. If yeah, he did that's, that, that's a disaster. Yeah, but he could do no, it without us knowing. They just won't report that shit. I, I mean, it'll be reported. It just won't be yeah, there's right, some you're, stuff you're, you're dipping into conspiracy <laughs> theory. Some stuff they have to right report. They could but though, <laughs> like the kids in cages. No, but what they'll do is... You think they is... reported, like, all right, we're going to put kids in cages. Like, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. What was reporting on that when, you know, they were in office? A lot of shit could happen. When was the reporting that they deported more people than, you know, whatever other... I do remember reading about that. If Biden brought the troops over there, they're not going to shit on him the same way they would have, like, if Trump brought the troops over there, you know? That's a very good point as well. So they'll just come up with, like, yeah, but, you know, we got some unfinished business. We just want to make sure some bullshit's correct. Well, (laughs) you know, 
let's see what happens. Let's, yo, remember that report no, that came out? I'm tired of seeing what's happening. I want to make sure shit. while they were in <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> president. While they were in Afghanistan, like, the generals and shit, they were saying, like, they don't know what they're doing, like, what the point of being there is. Dude, that came yeah. out for, like, three days and then disappeared. And then disappeared. disappeared. And the guy that was in office is the president-elect. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, like all these things would definitely be, like, if that was Trump on that yeah. headline instead of Biden... Or Biden's administration, it would be a quick. It would or be Obama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it would never get brought up in a debate. It would never get brought up by yeah. any CNN or Fox News or any any mainstream media anchor anchor would ever bring this up. Like it's Dude, really stupid. These guys it's because they're all in on it too. Like yeah, well so they're, they're given the talking points all of what boys. to say. Yeah, they're like all right, you could do this. You can't do this. You can't mention this. Which, which uh, is what happened to Crystal Ball with MSNBC. Yeah. When she shat on Hillary Clinton. Yeah. And, and then, and then the, the fucking her. the hammer came down, the Clinton hammer came down. Yeah. And they're just like, you can't, you got to let us know before what you do that. What a nasty ass What the hell? It's yeah. A, it's, like, it, you're a for, reporter. You should, you know, crazy. Is that like, in the Bill of Rights? The freedom <laughs> of the press? should be able to report. <laughs> it, it is. But the thing is, like, they can say is they're not firing you because of what you reported. They're firing you because of some conduct thing. Because you were late to work with that one yeah, day. Yeah, like they'll find stupid <laughs> shit to fire for. Or they'll, say, you know what? or they'll say, listen, I found someone better. Like, you're let go because we want to replace you with someone that we like better. You know, at the end of the day, like, mainstream media, it's it's more of, like, entertainment business than anything. Well, yeah, that's another ratings. good point, so too. So it's like, if, if you're not, if you're not, like, if you don't fit into that mold of, you know what they want you to be they could just replace you because you're essentially like an actor you know i mean yes you're a reporter and i you know don't mean to like you know delegitimize their job nah but do it <laughs> no <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> but you know they they are like you know uh, i don't know how can you how can you phrase it they're a talking head literally they're, they're they're basically there to bring out whatever crazy news comes out first instantly to you they just read and that's the, the thing teleprompter. that's the thing why why pretty much why trump yeah. Well, who's has behind it. the teleprompter? That's the question. Producer. Yeah. That's Obama. the real that's the real person you should Like there's worry a producer about. looking at this shit and there's people with like cameras everywhere and they're Vince. like, all right, switch to this, switch to this. <laughs> all right, this is what you gotta talk. Like they all have earpieces. And, and they're, they're being told. told what to what to say because they don't have the control either. Yeah. But that's the thing why like <laughs> the super negativity toward Trump, it's popular. So that's why that gets pushed out more and more because that's what Isn't brings the bullshit? ratings. Up. And the ratings bring the money up. And the ratings bring the money up. People shit on Trump for ratings, not because they have actual yeah. stuff to shit on him. For. And then and Trump knows this too, so he kind of plays off of that too with you know his tweets. Yeah, he's the like, ah, shit he give says. me, just keep giving me more press. Me like, press. But the annoying thing you. is, is that there is shit that he deserves to be shit on for, but they choose not. Well, they, they no, choose dumbass The dumb annoying shit. thing is, yeah. there's shit that yeah. that he should get shit on. He probably doesn't or does. But there's same similar shit that other people do that they should get shit on and yeah. they don't yeah. because they're not Trump and that's what bothers me. So grinds your gears. Grinds my gears. That's what gears. grinds my gears, <laughs> man. Because uh, like like we went like again and I think the was I think it was Yang. He said it the best like like this guy is a symptom of the issue. He's not the problem. The problems that existed when Trump was around existed well before he was yeah. in office and they're still gonna continue existing. There's still old white racist guys in politics. They're called President Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's it's it's, but, a, it's a, and you know they're also called president. He's not president <laughs> elect yet, but Donald Trump is president right now. That is true. Until until the electors, I was referring to Trump, by the way. I know. Yeah, I know. Because he, he said president elect, but he's not president elect yet. Oh yeah. yeah. He's, but, pro- um, he's projected when he's they projected find those eight million be, votes. So like all the shit talking in the past four years of Trump. Not only did it not do what they wanted, it gave the guy like almost 10 million yeah. more votes. It's weird how yeah. that backfired like, hard. Isn't everybody who voted for Trump basically voted for Trump again, plus 10 million people. Like nobody's thought, they'll never give him credit for that. Nobody's going to give him credit for that. This dude increased his voter base by 10 million people, basically. That's by good. Minority shot up. Everything shot up besides white men. Everything but white men were up. Trump, right? And yeah. I think where's I, the facts to this? Because I see mad different no, shit. No, it's the, it, you can look at well, you can I look at the it. look at the total vote I count. I sent it. It's a CN, there's a CNN article. CNN po- reported this how uh, the support for Trump shot I up. I see so many people share articles that only white men voted for for Trump and white women. And well, not only Biden, like Biden won more to minority. Mi- vote. Biden did win more of the minority, but so the put thing- it this way: like Biden won, let's say sixty thirty, the minority vote, but. Trump last time one lost it like I don't know ninety five uh, five yeah and then oh, it so shot up he increased 
his percentage yeah. is. And Biden something like decreased that. decreased his percentage. Yeah. But Biden, so that's an example. Oh. One oh. less than Hillary did. So people are looking at it differently. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, this is what think, a, which side you want to look at? The thing at? is, think, the Democrat man. always wins minority. But the minority, it's always. It's always but a thing. It's fucked up because they don't really deserve that shit. Well, it's all the fucking None people. of these people deserve that Listen, shit. Listen, as time goes on, this... What I'm seeing is this pandering bullshit is back. It, it's not working. Five, oh, yeah. ten years, I think they're going to have to do something else. But that's for like minority to... people because they're not like progressive that's, minorities. That's what pushes people out. This whole like culture bullshit, like the, you know, that they take the, the moral high ground on shit. Like look at how they, um, like they pander to the African Americans with the rap battle video. You remember? Like, yeah, I was cringing. Like what the, the hell does that have to do with anything? It's stupid. It's nothing. It, it's they're stupid. trying to get. They're trying the same get, thing with the despacito thing. That was the worst like, thing. That, yeah, that, that was, was one of the worst things ever. Gosh, yeah, that was like, terrible. You know, a big reason he lost. Uh, Biden lost Florida is because they all thought he was a socialist. And but Jorge dude, Masvidal. like, you gotta reach out to these people. Otherwise, they're gonna, you know. Yeah, you gotta tell us how you're gonna help. They're not gonna have faith. And then you obviously, bomb. the most important thing, actually, you know, doing what you're saying. Yeah, they. We need things on paper at this point. Like, I, I need to see bills signed. Yeah, because it's dude. How many years have they been saying that we're gonna, you know, improve the lives of the African American community? Dude, fucking Obama was in there, bailed out Wall Street, and how many African Americans lost? You yeah. know, Trump actually had it came out with the, the platinum plan. The platinum plan. It was actually plan. a plan. They don't talk about it though. The platinum plan on black people. I don't yeah, know. It, it, shit's got to be fair, and like they suck, and it's just everybody sucks, honestly. It, 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 it's sucks. definitely like a, an entire like what's it called, the tapestry? It's like just little strands in a big tapestry of yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I mean. I think one of the big things is, dude, the fucking old times just got to get out of fucking watch. The dinosaurs, dinosaurs, the dinosaurs man. must die. Yeah, because shit's dude, whack. Like, like, yo, what's crazy is fucking. Is it? I think Nancy and and McConnell. McConnell aren't they older than fucking Biden? We say age in the fact that these people bring these old ass policies that that just not up with the times. Yeah, I'd say what age I feel isn't like, like their thought well, you process. Compare, you can't compare with Bernie because Bernie is someone that one has always been consistent and two. His ideas are up with the times. Look at how a lot of like things Just that were thought to be radical it, are now, you know, you know. Look up um, everyone's saying this shit. He well, said. no, I, I get what you're saying. I, I know, like policy wise, he, you know, would be more progressive than probably, you know, ninety percent of the people they could possibly think. Probably even more. Wouldn't they want to just pick somebody who's young that can have like a long standing career? Well, they would want that. Yeah, yeah that's it's what I'm saying. What the people want. Oh, well. yeah. Well, it should be with the people. <laughs> yeah, my only reason why yeah, Bernie's the exception <laughs> is because he kind of changed the direction of like what policies um, the Dems are are sticking with. Yeah, he basically you know? made it now a public option is the must. Yeah, it's like the floor, and that's fucking wild. He brought that. He brought the fifteen dollar minimum wage. That was his idea. Isn't it insane? Green New Deal. Dude. He brought that shit up. Like Dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at that shit. <laughs> like he brought for all these all. positions to the to the light. If it wasn't for him. What other dinosaur would be <laughs> would Man, be pushing for that shit? I don't know. Bernie's the guy that plants the tree so the next generation could like swing on it, you know? But the thing is that's I do a, that's a good uh And then good. people are trying to cut that shit down. So he, he ties himself <laughs> to the tree. And I would say the same thing for the Republican <laughs> Party. Like the Republican Party, dude, These you bombs. suck when you fucking let Donald Trump shit on your party. What's wrong with you guys? Like you got, they got to find Bro, someone like, like new wives. people that you know are up with the times. So I just feel your, like your everything. yeah, they're too backwards. They're, yeah, like there's some young, there's some younger ones that are kind of like there's some progressive. It's new, weird. New young people too, but I think they're further behind just because they haven't had. Like, there's the, way less of them. Yeah, compared yeah. to like the progressive like young people. There's like three the, of them in this room. The le- <laughs> 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 Damn, you see this? You see this? Wa- the color of this wire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know who the odd man out is. Yeah. Just, yeah, there definitely needs to be, like, the, that drainage of the swamp in Washington. It's just yeah. such a yeah. fucking mess of things. And it's just so divided, man. It's super divided. That's that's the, that's gonna, and that's going to be the, the annoying thing for the next, you know, if for this guy next, gets like, elected years. going forward. But the young progressives are winning office. Yeah, that's beast. That's, that's something they're excited that's about. Beast. They, just, and, they, they just can't they just can't fall into the whole, they can't fall into the the, the culture trap. Like yeah, yeah, the identity politics, that shit. They have to have real policies. Yeah. like the, And that's why they're winning is because they, they stick to policies like Medicare yeah. for all, you know. And things. people go, all right, is there a chance? Because like, yeah. <laughs> people are going to vote for someone that say, oh, I'm for Green New Deal or Medicare for all or whatever over, oh, we're here to take Trump out of office. So stupid. Because then you just know the that system. they're not going to do anything for you. Yeah, just it's, gonna it's definitely shit. like an overplayed, like, overplayed uh, rhetoric. Pops. 
It is cheap pops. We don't want cheap pops anymore. That shit's old. Did we talk about how how pot's legal in New Jersey? We did. Well, technically not legal. We didn't make that. Apparently, like the taxes are going for a lot of it is going. Uh, to police, so like law enforcement, shit. And yeah. shit, which people are pissed. They're like, people it should be pissed. going to like back to communities. Isn't it funny? It's already These starting, sick man. Fucks. Maybe we should have voted no, because <laughs> they're <laughs> even if we voted yes, they're gonna make it a way to piss us off. And you would think like, all right, it's like, what's isn't wrong? It? With Maybe these they won't guys. raise the fucking the tolls anymore. What like, is for wrong a few with years these guys? Like, well, I mean, when you think something. about it, it's like, yeah, it's going to the it's like the fishing. cops, but that but that's more because they're not gonna be able to profit off of. You know, busting people for possession anymore. But don't we want to defund the police? Or yeah, something? but how much money do you really think they get from that? They don't get that much money. They're, 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 it's not like there's one posi- one like marijuana possession per day. Like I, if there is, there's probably a handful, and that's not that much money. You're right. You're Compared definitely to the right. They're gonna wait revenue, and they know people Dude, are gonna go. What happened to the legal gambling in New Jersey? Where the tax? Where's the tax going? Did it go to know. anything at all? I don't know. Dude, tell they me. just t- took that shit and they just swallowed it. That's what they did. That's very true. And they did it again with marijuana. But the, but the thing is, if it does go to cops, you know why it is. Because that's how, you know, the lobbying goes. Yeah. The, the yeah. prison industrial complex needs, you know, to keep these its, industrial its funds complexes, going. man. So who makes we'll, these shits? We'll support your legalization bill, but we're not, you know, we get a piece of that pie. we're not losing a penny. Yeah. We're not losing one oh, penny. Because they won't be able to imprison people anymore. And they yeah. got us. Off of that's they more, got us good. That's man. more likely. They got us. Like them them doing that because of what because of that. Because yeah. there's more people getting arrested than actually paying cash. Yeah. Or like that's that makes more sense. Up. Yeah. It's wow. That's yeah, it's insane. It's fucking sick. But wow. Literally, we just we got caught by the bait. <laughs> that's fucked up. This is fucked. This whole man, shit's a mess. It's politics, man. It's, uh, it, Can't it's, stand it's it. shitty how that shit works because they're, it's a big complex. Yeah. They have powers, so you see gotta a lot of people them. are upset about that shit. And like, even if you call your local, whatever, they're gonna be like, "Yeah, I got you." But in the end, the big bucks make the, the decisions. The big fucking bucks. That's all it is. It's just one of those things where people are saying that now, but then like the second the dispensaries open, it's for everyone's yeah, gonna be lining gonna forget up. Forget about it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what sucks, up. man. Yeah, you, you can't can be do mad about, about it now, so. but you're still gonna go get. If you're truly mad about it, don't buy weed. Just keep from, buying illegally. <laughs> yeah, buy it from like your, your buy it from your Mexico. plug right now. You know, but that's the whack part, isn't it? Because everyone's angry to fucking talk about it, but when the walk, see what the they don't talk happen. about. Here's the thing, because they talk about how our votes don't matter because <sighs> the popular vote and shit. You know why our votes don't matter? Because of money. Yeah, because but going back to our example, the prison industrial complex wants something done, so they lobby for it. That vote matters. That influence matters more than whatever vote I put in. That's what I believe. Cause You're money right. it doesn't matter if it's popular vote, if it's unpopular vote, if it's this ranked choice, whatever. Like that's the definite big issue. And again, we go back to Bernie. That's what this guy, you know, puts on the line. Like this fucking this guy told money you, Washington got the no fuck out. money behind them. Twenty-seven dollars. Remember when Joe Biden was like, "Yeah, our shit costs like forty-two dollars average." Yeah. So Apple, I know you've heard about this. You've definitely heard oh, about boy. this. They've released. What's Apple doing? They've released um their new MacBook Airs and their MacBook yeah. Pros with their new in-house processor. It's an ARM processor, right? It's basically the same processor that's in your smartphones, but it's on their fucking high-end computers now, and this shit is like. Because it's using the same technology that um, that they use to make these cell phone um, computer chips, it's small as hell and it's super power efficient. So like, they're saying that these laptops can last for like twenty five hours. Holy shit! Like imagine like a laptop. A laptops lasting eight hours is amazing. It's a luxury, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you can only be you can only be doing like text documents. Like yeah, you can't do anything stupid else. Stupid shit. But they're they're saying I think it was like twenty hours of video playback or something. Wild. Crazy, That's, right? So that would be so even more efficient. if you didn't do that. Um, and like the specs came out, it's beating like low to mid tier processors that are like on computers right now. Oh shit! It gets wrecked once you go once you get into like somewhat high tier, it gets wrecked. Like the multi core scores trash. But they're but again, Apple's go with the single yeah. core. Apple started this shit, so like they started this trend now. It's gonna be a trend of using ARM processors. Like I have a feeling that one day all the processors are gonna switch from whatever they are now x86 to ARM, and we're just gonna have super power efficient everything. Like it's not just mobile it's also like that thing like I, I have a computer up there and that thing's probably sucking like 400 watts of power you get this chip it's only sucking 50 watts of power That's with wild. like all the all the other peripherals like with the system every few years i know you guys hear that like the computer chips get smaller right they get smaller and smaller 
So Apple right now they they're using something called five um, nanometer, which is t- which is the smallest basically like that's like available. What's gonna happen when like the fourteen nanometer CPUs that are being used in Intel right now go that far, or even AMD gets to that level? Like that shit's gonna be wild because they're not gonna do it on ARM. They're gonna be doing it on their x86 processors. That's gonna be fucking nuts. We're about to see like a really big leap in speed. Dude, and combine that with five G. Combine that with Oof. the crazy five G. Damn. Combine that with the insane like graphics cards that are coming out that, that are too. also going to get those smaller chips. Like it's just going to we're going to jump into like another level of computing. Yeah, like, like, the next 10 years right. of like technology is going to be nuts. Yeah, it's going to be It's going to be fucking nuts. It's going to be crazy. And I mean, and smart everything. Like everything's smart now. Everything's going to be connected to some type of network now with the 5G. Yeah. Dude, the 6G. Like I'm not even memeing this. The 6G. 6G. The 6G Six, dude. <laughs> is supposed to be, I think they said it was 15 to 20 times faster than the 5G, but it's like a super high frequency that can't go through walls or glass. Oh, shit. Like, it can barely go through glass. Yeah. So, like, what do you do? Because right now, they have to keep putting little towers up in between towers. This is going to be that, like, 20-fold, and you can't put towers on every corner of a street. Dude. So, Samsung created Wally. this technology, right? that it would put antennas on our phones and all our smart shit. So, like, me being next to you would be amplifying the signal. Oh, that's pretty wild. So, like, when you're in a city with people, all the phones are bouncing off each other and all the signals are bouncing, and it's, like, increasing the signal. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. But what if someone hacks one phone and they're able to hack every other phone? Well, they can already well, do that. that's not your problem to solve. It's theirs. So. I mean, in a way, they kind of already can do that. It's just, it'll just be probably faster and more efficient. But yeah, they, like, they steal our info quicker. Like, what do you think the big hack event's going to be like in the next 10 years? It's going to be a huge one. The election. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. What do you think? This is your this is your expertise. I think yeah. it would be like the I mean, school. the craziest thing <laughs> it would probably be would be like multi like corporation hacks. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz I still think I still think like to hack like government like banks and shit like that it, it's tough, and I mean, especially for banks, like I don't know, they're pretty, they're pretty secure. But yeah, like they hack like Sony, Walmart, Amazon, yeah, Sony and, been getting hacked, and McDonald's all at the same time. Gets hacked. Yeah. Apple, they all too. get shut on. Dude, the scary one though, the real scary hack is the when the fucking the electric cars get hacked, yeah, when the self driving cars. That's when, that's when we're like we we need to take a step back from this technology and be like, all right. Well, like we're not entering the car. Yeah, yeah. This isn't the tr- this, this isn't turning into Terminator to like like six. Like, like we, need to, <laughs> we, we need to like <laughs> we need to create something that stops these hacks like indefinitely forever. It's crazy. A lot of these hackers, like the craziest hackers, once they get caught, they end up working for like the government and for like big corporations. Really? Yeah, because they want them because they're beasts. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they they turn them Can't into them, like them. ethical hackers, so they find they they literally, like I say you're a beast hacker. And, you know, the CIA wants you, so they'll ask you to come in, even though you fucking, like, stole $20 million from from Chase Bank. <laughs> and they'll be like, all right, I want you to hack into us. And then after you hack into us, you you find a way to make that unhackable. That is cr- I mean, th- that would help, though. That and they'll pay you for it. And, well, I mean. If not, you go to prison for what you did to Chase. <laughs> or, yeah, if not, you go to prison. <laughs> There's definitely that happening. Like, there's definitely, like, all right, break this or you're fucking, we're not yeah. doing shit for you. Cause I I seen videos of like like top ten like hackers and shit. A lot of them end up just working for like the companies they end up hacking or for the government that you know in the country that ha- they're doing. I get paid a hacking. lot too. Yeah, it, I mean, there's money to be made. Of that shit. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> oh. oh, social dilemma. So I finally watched it. And your thoughts um, on it? Pretty so crazy, I'm not man. Talking and pretty crazy. Are... And you know, one thing that really stuck out to me was the fact that like kind of people are just. People just basically see things that like validate their opinions and how that fuels politics and stuff like that. And um That's true. And you know, the other day I didn't mention it in the podcast, but there is like a new um well a social media that's kinda it's not new really, but it's uh parlor or whatever. Parlor, yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't actually go on it, but I see a lot of like well, yeah, you go on Twitter. Go on you, it. you see a lot of like <laughs> um people on the right suggesting use parlor instead of Twitter. Yeah. Um and that's because it's not Censored? Yeah. What does it say right there? It says the world's town square. Speak freely and express yourself openly without fear of being the platform for your views. Engage with real people, not bots. 
I mean, that's good. These bots are mad annoying. Parlor is people and privacy focused and gives you the tools you need to create your parlor experience. I mean, what's the worst know. that could I happen? I mean, you can you could go you just, on just to get an idea of what people are saying. Well, you got to verify yourself. So it keeps out bots and bots encourages kind of civil disclosure. This is actually a pretty good idea, like, when you think about it. Like, I don't see what's wrong with this. Well, the thing is, that's kind of what Twitter, Facebook, like, all these things were before, you know, it got so, like, got politicized. Before, and politicized, all the crazy yeah. Before I can, like, like, go like this and make a Twitter, like, rig like that. Yeah. Yeah. The thing <laughs> is, like, bots. yeah, those places got politicized, and, you know, Twitter is, you know, basically flagging, like, Trump's tweets and whatnot, but... This is like a direct response to that, and it's not so much like, oh, this is a spot for free speech. It's more of like, oh, this is a spot for us to say what we want to say, you know, regardless of it, if it's true or not. Yeah, and, yeah but and, then— And it's—it can go bad, you know? Like, like how you say that, like, Reddit, like, leans left, you know? Like, this could be the right version of Reddit, you know? Well, not, I mean, if, like the if that is right true, they, they definitely need a right version of something because yeah. there is no right version of me of a social media platform anymore, like at all. Well, there never was. Yeah, but yeah. Social media so, was even always it, very left. I I, I get what you're saying, but I I don't necessarily see it like that for me. But if it is what you're saying, I think that's okay too because they they, they should have you know their yeah. own for social them to media. Talk. It's I don't know, but you know, like, what if it like creates like you know extremists? But anything, and whatnot? dude. This doesn't exist, and there's already extremists. You know? Yeah, there were ex- the KKK. Well, what if it makes it? What if it makes it worse? I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I mean, it's gonna get saying. worse regardless. It's gonna get worse. Well, that's yeah. probably and gonna that's help. That's just it, based on people. There's also like left media. extremists too, though. That yeah, are, like, like Antifa. Growing shit. right now on fucking Twitter. Yeah, as much as you want to say Antifa, just not, there are people that follow Antifa, and they're violent people. And I don't think violence is the answer to combat. You know, whatever they're against. Whether it be, you know, you're a right wing group or left wing group. But I think I said this last time too, like, there's two things. One, people just got to follow golden rule, man. You know, treat others how you would like to, you yeah. know, yourself to be treated. Just yeah. Simple, basic shit we learned. Yeah. We just gotten so far away from that. And the other thing is, like, again, so this was part of the Edward Snowden podcast. I mean, the podcast, the Joe Rogan podcast with Edward Snowden, the second one. Where he's talking about, like, a lot of this shit started, this fear of, like, you know, extremists putting their views out there and gathering, you know, followers. It started with ISIS because they would have, you know, gatherings on private networks and shit. And these were private networks where, you know, only people that they wanted in there that align with them can join. And that just grew and grew and grew. And that radicalized people because no one was challenging them. That's why we, we need things like that partnership but obviously on a bigger base not just you know something small like, like for facebook and these people to let people voice their ideas and for it to be challenged obviously in a more respectful manner not just get pissed and shit because everyone has different opinions man like we're not yeah. all gonna agree we're fucking what 300 million people in this country 400 million like, yeah there's gonna be so many different ideas but it's also dangerous when you know you you have when you're only being showed one type of opinion yeah you're right you're right you know like well that yeah that's that's, that's what's that's... gonna make it worse twitter you know twitter was pretty much yeah you could say it kind of leans left but well, there was still a, a good amount of twitter starting to start leaning left like it wasn't always like that but that's different than size than silencing people's posts or silencing their things creating your algorithm to just show people what you want what they think you know you want to see is one thing mm-hmm Silencing, removing tweets, that's another thing. That's two different that's two different problems. Right. You know, you can still have Twitter and change your algorithm where you're not, you know, fucking sending people the same shit. Yeah. That can be the solution. But I don't feel like silencing these crazy, you know, people is the is the solution. Cause what happens is they're gonna go into a hole and grow like that. Where I feel as if they're out in the open you have different opinions and you have different views where you can say, okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. This makes sense. This is why this is wrong. Yeah. You know, as much as I, I just right, see like, I just see like they're like, you know, them seeing, you know, Trump get flagged. Like that's their motivation to be like, you know, Hey, like we're going to do this and we're going to say whatever we want. And then no one's going to be challenging them. Like you go on Twitter and you know, you know, Trump will tweet something and then somebody will respond to him. And then, somebody will respond to them you know like they'll, they'll, there's a constant like you know rebuttal like you know like back and forth you right. know yeah but, but, if, some... but if your opinion or your statement isn't being challenged and 
you're just gonna you know dig deeper into that there, right, there's right, gonna right, be right. more people than just right people on yeah. there though. there's yeah. gonna be other people well the, pro- the problem with with censorship is who does a censorship yeah. and again like well, like not to bring this up again but like bring but like people get it. you know the trump people probably get pissed because all right the hunter biden story when that shit first came out god who's axed. that who's that who's that Hunter Biden. <laughs> we don't know about him. We used to know about him, but yeah. now we don't. He's an old friend. He's an old He's friend. He's an old friend. He got he got censored. You know, oh, not he got his uh ar- the article about him got censored because it was supposedly like hack material, or whatever. But then when the you know before that when the truck the Trump tax shit came out, that didn't get censored. And I'm pretty sure it was you know they got that information in a sketchy way. Same thing as the Hunter Biden. So why is it that one gets censored and not the other? And obviously. You know, going to what he's saying, since it's more left leaning, they probably didn't censor Trump's thing because it was more left leaning, and people, you know. Well, were... I mean, the simple answer is, you know, Politics, one, baby. one. Well, the simple answer is one of them focused on somebody who was actually running for president, and the other didn't. That's a what very small. Um, I get what you're saying, but it's a very small. You, you're, you're like picking a really small like portion of that whole thing. But dude, at the end of the day, it's that like that could be their reasoning, but but Joe Biden was involved with that Hunter Biden shit, according to the you know. The information, the article. Yeah, but but they never found the info, right? And it was actually illegal for the New York Times ever posted Trump's tax returns. Completely illegal, and they never took the post down. That you can share that, but you can't share the story of <laughs> of so, Hunter well, Biden. Well, well, didn't Trump say like, oh, like you Very know, strange. I'm gonna show my tax returns. So isn't that his verbal agreement to release no. him? Well, yeah, he he could show them, but that doesn't mean that yeah, you can just someone else can show it. That's yeah. kind of I mean, that's besides up. the point. The point is. How come it's acceptable for one thing to be censored when there's this other thing? Obviously, it's on the opposite side of the political spectrum to not have the same uh, consequence. You know what I'm saying? That, and then that's why people look at that. They may be Trump supporters, and they'll be like, "Wait, what the fuck? Like this is biased." And they and then they they start feel like like you know they're being silenced because all right now I'm a Trump supporter now I can't express myself. Yeah. But they can, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's just up. it's not fair censorship. Yeah. So and that. Yeah, that that guy, yeah. you know, when I was trying to get that. Yeah, and I get it. Yeah, so you know, I mean, yeah, they should, you know, have an outlet to discuss, but you know, if they're going to be motivated for the wrong reasons, it's not good. Well, That's yeah, not but good. you can't, you can't, you can, we gotta wait and see what happens. We'll like, see. We'll but see. But you could say that but, about anything. You yeah. could say that about people making Twitter. Yeah. Are motivated just based shit on like to Trump. follow Antifa. Like that one, shit, like that know? one um, lady who's always under Trump's comments, no matter what the video is, is saying complete opposite of what he's saying. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I guess we can end this here. Um, mm-hmm. We made a Twitch channel, which we're going to stream the games on. Oh. Yeah, we'll see. But I'll, the links will be in the description. Uh, like and subscribe. Yeah. Um, we're trying to get to 500. That's the goal Follow right now. on Parlor. We're at, I think, 3. We're at 439. <laughs> <Uncensored> info. <laughs> yeah, make, we'll make a Parlor. <laughs> God.